The AFL Paradise has come up with an absolute another banger fucking graphic here. Shout out to the AFL Paradise. But once again, I've got my opinions on this and you're going to be hearing them. Based off 2024, who have been the best per category. And I'm going to be completely honest, not biased. Like I want to say best forward, I want to say Waterman. But it obviously is Kerno. He's the best forward. Breakout player could be a variety of people. Massimo D'Ambrosio has been phenomenal for Hawthorne, but there's been loads others. The most obvious being Isaac Heaney, Isaac Rankin, and many, many more. But I'll probably just go with Isaac Heaney. I feel like that's the most logical. Rising star, I'm, even though he can't win it, you just have to say Harley Reid. I know he can't win it, but that rule's fucking stupid. Best defender, absolutely not Liam Jones. Now, best defensive defender, I think, is Harris Andrews. The best defender overall, I think, is one of Tom Stewart, but more likely Sam Taylor. Brownlow, I mean, this could change by the time the season's done. Right now, the leader's looking like Patrick Cripps. I think Dacos will probably win, though. I just hope Lockie Neal doesn't. Because who fucking was a three-time Brownlow medalist? No one. Underrated. Well, this could be any player, but I'm going to choose a Richmond player because I go for them. Nick Floston, underrated. Absolutely underrated. Absolutely underrated. And if you want to choose another one, Toby Nane Curvis. Been our best player all season as well. Call me biased. Who gives a fuck? Surprise All-Australian. I mean, if you're talking about, like, who will surprisingly make it, then not Zorko. But in terms of plays we didn't expect to make it this season, I think Zorko is a great shout. And Smokey, presumably for the Brownlow. Trelaw's a great shout, but there's three names I think that could get quite high up. Chad Warner, who I predicted to win the Brownlow at the start of the season, before any game. Look at that ball knowledge. I always remind you about that. I think Caleb Sarong started the season really well, and he has great stats. And the third player is Lockie Whitfield. Has been outstanding. And I just think... If the umpires look at who gets the most touches, he might fucking do well. And that's my uh, categories.